twittering the, tw the, the the tweet is the tweet thing is working today the, the internet and this this is just interesting I'll, 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 I'll bring it back to uh, drama well I think this is this is, this is all counter to the drama the plays that I'm working on that relate to online learning are based on the ruins of the fortress university uh there was a again if you might you might have heard this before but there are there are new listeners in plymouth so th just to explain the sort of background to this um when the when the tr when the mooc scene started which was about 10 or 12 years ago now um Peter Horrocks was Vice Chancellor of the Open University and he, he he put a lot of money into FutureLearn, which might have been a bad investment. Might might well probably has don't know how that how that how it's worked out exactly, but um a lot of people doubted that it, that it was sensible. And um so he had to he had to go eventually and uh, it it's been no no U other UK university invested into into it. Um, Seek Group from Australia, they're a, a recruitment agency. They they invested, uh, but later it was sold to Global University Systems. And I th I thought the idea of the Fortress University, which he gave a lecture about that in Durham, I thought that was very interesting and I, my, my play is but set in the ruins of the fortress university um kendall is a very good site for that um and during lockdown uh there seemed to be again a move online which i i think is is gonna continue um but there's a lot of evidence that it isn't uh certainly UK universities seem to behave as if uh, everything's back to normal. The lockdown experiments or forced moves into online might, might have just gone away, um, as it appears. And the, the tweet today is from Class Central, who, who follow MOOCs quite a lot. And they say that um, to you, which is an, an American company which bought uh, edX, one of the MOOC platforms, um, their share price has decreased by 50%. And uh, the company value is $80 million, which contrasts with the $800 million they paid for edX two years ago. So this, this, is, this is looking like... Um, very definitely not not good news for the MOOC scene. I've had I've had a quick look at the Coursera um, share price, and that seems that seems to be all right. That's 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 higher than it was earlier this year, and they they will be at the Learning Technologies uh, show um, in edX. Sorry, in Excel. Uh, next next year, I, I mention all of this because um, with Chris Norton from the Wild Show, I'll be going to to Bet quite soon, and uh, we'll we'll talk about the learning technologies partly because Coursera won't be, won't be at Bet. There won't be any MOOC people at, at um, Bet. There'll be uh, some universities represented but not the not the MOOC scene um, so all these all these ideas will will get into um, a sort of what, what I guess is now a historical uh, play the siege of the fortress university which happened during lockdown and failed the um, the fortress university has survived uh, as it would appear at this time, but um, 
the ruins may be set some some point in the future it's um it's fiction but um as part of that fiction if it's based on um verbatim records or something this this um to you result will be um part of it but maybe the Coursera model will 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 prove more viable with um an emphasis on the MOOCs up front and the, the degrees relating to that. Um two you seems to have got, got towards that but maybe not as not as obviously. Don't know. Anyway we're a long long way off um drama as such but this 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 sort of thing will will end up in some some sort of format of, of drama.